Hey guys, I am not going back out there. <laughs> Holy mac. Anyway, if you saw, saw my earlier videos, you'll understand why. <laughs> so, I said I'd talk to you this morning about uh, what's going on. Um, I think the Liberal government overruled Trudeau. Um, this is my personal opinion. Um, I could be wrong. But from what I can tell, from what I see, the Liberal Party overruled. Um, they decided enough's enough. There's been uh, talk um, that, you know, when the Liberals start talking publicly against their own leader, and you know they've already been screaming for a long time in the background and not being listened to. So. I think they finally stepped up and said, you know what, enough's enough. And uh, so I want to speak to a couple of things about uh, the mandates when they lifted. Okay, one thing, um, they're playing with numbers. They say 90% of Canadians are life jacketed. Okay, yeah, but that doesn't mean that they qualify as being fully life jacketed because that single dose, or sorry, single life jacket and... Uh, Wow, I can't even stay focused. It's just insane out here. Um, single life jacket. Um, to be fully life jacketed, uh, you need double. And I do believe that number currently sits at 78%. If I'm, I could be off by a bit on that one, but uh, it's hard to track that number down because they only, they talk in generality. Um, but either way, their number is off. And uh, another thing that uh, point tells me that they're they're overruling Trudeau is they canceled all the phase two uh, plans for uh, mandatory vaccination, uh, mandatory life jacketing in uh, all federal uh, uh, organizations, with the exception of cruise ships and all that. The planned uh, ones that they were talking about, you know, interprovincial uh, life jacket requirements and all that jazz. Uh, there's a couple other things that are saying, wait a minute, like a lot of people are saying, yo, they said that it's only suspended, it's not ended. Um, if I'm not mistaken, when the provinces did it, they all said suspended as well. Um, at first and then they went to yeah it's just done like um, now to their credit I understand why they're saying they'll bring it back because if things go sideways and you know we do actually get a real problem and from this they have to have that safety net to bring themselves back um, but we need to keep the pressure up it sounds like a good thing. It does. It isn't because we are at war, and there's cycle. It's a psychological war, and it's a war of the mind, the hearts and minds of people. Okay. <coughs> so they're using a tactic to get rid of our backing and our pressure, our influencers that are working in the background by opening the door and allowing them to leave Canada. This is what I was talking about yesterday in the video. People didn't quite understand it, I don't think. I'm not sure. But they are talking in the background. They're putting a lot of pressure on. There's reports of liberal backers, financial backers, that are withholding money until Trudeau is gone. Um, the pressure is real. We need to keep that, that pressure up. So, they're trying everything in their power. James Topp was coming there to tell uh, the government to reinstate people that have lost their jobs. Well, they're trying to one-up James Topp um, by reinstating uh, workers, that, federal workers that had, were put on leave for uh, not following orders um, on June 20th. The date that James Topp was originally planning on being in Ottawa, but, you know, 
it's a little hard to judge exactly how long it's going to take to walk across the country, you know. <laughs> so they chose that date. I do believe that was particularly out of spite to James. Um, this is a five minute video, holy mech. All right, I'm going to try. I don't know whether I should put this on YouTube or not. Um, anyway, I, I look at these things a lot differently than most people. And I'm trying to figure out what's the tactic here. Because there is a tactic. Don't be mistaken by it. Uh, I'm going to end this here. And uh, yeah. Welcome to the Fringe, everybody.